You don't have to cook it very much. Shake it a few times. Oh my god, it's done. And dip it in the sauce. Mmm. Mandu. Step two. Kalguksu. Okay, I'm gonna add some more broth. Beautiful. More shrimp. Sauce. 끝내준다. Mmm, 시원해. So remove most of the stuff except a little bit of liquid because you can always add more if you need it. Have you tried Korean hot pot? Let me show you how to do it. I think it tastes the best with anchovy broth, but if you're lazy, just use your favorite broth. It's best to get rid of the gut to remove any bitterness, but not the end of the world if you don't. Once it comes to boil, let it boil for another 10 to 15 minutes on high heat with the lid open. Once done, strain. For seasoning, mix garlic, gochugaru, soup soy sauce, aka gukkanjang, gochujang, and black pepper. Even better if you add sake or white wine. Mix the seasoning with your broth and now our soup base is ready. Now the dipping sauce is key. Soy sauce, vinegar, water, and wasabi, the simple combination works really beautifully with this shabu shabu. For vegetables, go to H Mart or Asian Market and basically get all the vegetables and mushrooms you don't know the names of. But you can just add one or two of your favorite vegetables if you want. Clean the mushrooms with a brush or a paper towel. Wash green vegetables thoroughly so they're not sandy when you eat. For meat, it can be any very thinly sliced beef, but I like brisket or ribeye. Now we're ready for the ultimate Korean hot pot experience. Visit my store in BioLink for ingredients and cookware. You wanna come over?